Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Constance Mabaso and for the returning subscribers, you guys know me as Connie today. So today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we have a new video. We have a new banger. So today is a Monday and I'm recording a video the day before I'm supposed to post it. I don't know how practical that is, but yeah, I'll be recording a video and by the title, I'm sure you can tell, we're recording a video about varsity essentials what you need to pack for race if you are in grade 12 and you're going to like race next year or if you're just a person moving out of a space or you're going to boarding school this video is for you so i wrote everything that i'm going to be telling you guys in this book i really love this book i love the texture i love everything about it it says be joyful in hope from romans 12 verse 12 i chose this specific book for youtube because i need to be joyful at all times when i record my videos and then with this i just want to share with you guys with this book i got two other books it was a set that i got they came like this it's three books i use this one for like church things or just journaling and everything that i want to write down my feelings whenever i'm happy whenever i'm sad it says rejoice in the lord always from philippians 4 verse 4 this book is my everyday diary go to whatever you want to call it i write in this every day because yeah this one says the joy of the lord is my strength from nehemiah 8 verse 10 i'm gonna use this for school whenever i need to so the first varsity essential please note nah this is a disclaimer you don't really need these things to survive these are just things that i feel like i need not to survive not necessarily to survive but i just need them to like move around better in a way if i could put it like that so you won't die if you don't have any of these things but i just feel like you know you need them in a way some are more important and i will emphasize on them but some are just like luxury or whatever so the first item is um a portable speaker this is very important especially for me i don't like being in a quiet space it feels weird to be sitting in like silence listening to the sounds outside like the geese or whatever that sound is so i have this one that i bought from game it was 300 rands and i really love this speaker because it's it's small and you know i can carry it everywhere and the charger is a samsung charger so i'll never struggle with charging this whenever i go somewhere and be using it it's a bluetooth speaker it has a usb space and then you can put in your memory card usb space usb slot and then you can put in your memory card it's called a polaroid speak it's a polaroid speaker and then yeah yeah i love this and then the second thing that we have is a mirror i have a small mirror i have this mirror it's currently dirty i don't know why but i have this mirror i got it from pip for 15 rands i think i got it last year though but yeah i think you can still get it and there are there are smaller ones than this you don't necessarily need to get this one but i'm just saying you need a mirror um even if you can get a bigger one but my wrist lucky for me came with two big mirrors you will see that in the room tour that i will be posting next week tuesday so tune in for that i have two other big mirrors so this one is just for me when i'm doing my face sitting down or whatever the case might be and then moving right along the third item is an iron i grouped these things it's an iron a kettle and a heater i have this iron this beautiful baby this gorgeous pink darling right here <laughs> and as you can see it's pretty clean i take care of myself like that yes girl i have this iron it's from what is it russell hobbs my uncle got it for me when i moved in here in march so i'm really grateful for that because i love this iron i love the color i love everything if you watch my videos you will know how much i love this iron so i have this iron i am not gonna show you guys the kettle a kettle is a kettle i got mine from micro some races i know have an urn where you can go and get hot water there but it's not really practical for anyone to be carrying hot water around but if that works for you then fine my race or the place where i stay doesn't offer anything like that the commune came with a kettle but right now i don't know where it is but i don't care because i have my own kettle so that's good and then for a heater i know people have this heater that is like 
it's a heater and then it's a fan at the same time i think it's like 200 at game or any appliance stores so that would be really good i don't have my own heater because my room came with a heater but it's not currently working right now hopefully they will fix that but you need a heater for when it gets cold unless you have like twenty thousand blankets but that's fine that's not something that you really need but to be warm and if you're someone who's really scared of getting cold or you know get yourself a heater darling and then the fourth item is a hair dryer i don't have a hair dryer right now with me because i had it last year with me at my race but i left it at home this year because i don't really use it that much my mom uses it more than me so i left it for her to use because it's hers i didn't buy it myself because hair dryers are expensive but i know we can get cheaper ones i don't know how the cheaper ones work because quality is everything especially when it comes to hair dryers um you want them to last longer so you're gonna spend more money but if you are moving to a new environment a new place you don't really know the salons around there so it's better if you have um things that will allow you to do your own hair at home my hair i don't necessarily use hair dryers because i don't apply heat i just wash it and let it air dry so i don't really need a hair dryer but if you are moving to a new place have a hair dryer even if it's a cheap one because you don't know what if there are no salons around there so it's better to be safe than sorry and the fifth item is rechargeable lights rechargeable lights is or are rechargeable lights i cannot emphasize the importance of this enough because when i came to watch the load shedding guys the load shedding showed me flames i had candles but they were all for like aesthetics and all those things they are finished because of load shedding so i went to game my dad actually told me this before i left home to take the rechargeable lights at home but your girl didn't i don't know why so I got here and I had to buy it with my own money. So I got this um, at game. It was um, 150. The lighting of this thing is very good. There are two settings or there are two types of brightness. If I can say it like that. You have the first one which is like this. And then you have the second one which is like this. This is not the way it lights up normally because I used it last night so I haven't charged it yet. And the nice thing about this, even if you don't have electricity, you can charge it with sunlight because it has a solar solar thing here. And then it uses the Samsung charger which is really good. And then you can charge your phone. I don't use it but you can charge your phone so that's good item number six is a reusable coffee cup or flask it's really cold guys it's winter now it's gonna get worse so to have a coffee cup or mug or flask is a good investment for yourself I have this one I got it from the store at school it was 62 rands and it wasn't worth it because as you can see the print thingy is uh, yeah but you need this it still does the work even though the outside is not beautiful anymore but inside it still does the work i use this almost every day when i go to practice because i leave very early sometimes i have to be at the bus stop at half past five so this is very good for me to carry my coffee or whatever i am drinking so a coffee cup item number seven is storage solutions i don't really have many of that i only have this like basket thingy that i put my underwear in there because the rest that i live at doesn't have drawers if your rest has drawers then lucky for you but if you don't know what you're moving into then it's better if you have storage solutions there's this thing that you can put under the bed that is sold at pep for 100 rand i'll put the picture right here you can put in things and then zip it up and then put it under your bed if you need extra storage so it's really good to have um things that you can store your things in yeah i'm saying things a lot with this item but yeah it's basically storage solutions and then item number seven is the laundry basket you don't really need this you can put your things in a in a bucket if you want but um 
yeah you need a laundry basket i don't have to explain that because at the place that i'm living at the laundry it's not really far but it's outside my room it's not the same as my previous room which had um a washing machine inside the room so i have to take my clothes to the laundry room so i won't carry my clothes like this and walk there because i'm gonna lose socks along the way my underwear is gonna fall off don't wash your underwear in the washing machine by the way but yeah smaller things are gonna fall off when i walk there so i need to have something that i'm gonna put my clothes in and then carry it to there so yeah you need a laundry basket and then item number eight is extra bedding and a blanket guys whew. okay it's not really a need it's not really an essential but it's very important to have extra bedding it's very important to have to have extra bedding because last year i only had one but thank god i didn't stay at rest for the whole year because i would have seen flames but i only had one bedding one set of bedding and it would be a problem when i wash it and then it doesn't dry completely because it's at night it's going to be a problem what am i going to sleep with if the bedding is wet and i don't have anything extra so now i have extra bedding and then you need a blanket because it's cold unless you're relying on a on a heater or anything else you need a blanket you need okay you don't really need fleece blankets but that's what i have i don't i don't have a big blanket right now i have two fleece blankets and that's working perfectly for me right now the tenth item is an umbrella and raincoat the weather porch weather guys is very unpredictable sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold all of a sudden it's raining and it only rains for like 10 minutes trust me okay sometimes it rains for like 10 minutes and then it's sunny again so to have an umbrella is a good investment like buy get yourself an umbrella i got this one from pimp it was i think guys i really love pimp i really love pimp, pimp mr price home game i got this one from pimp it was 90 rands okay that's expensive i think it was 50 rand <laughs> but yeah i'm not sure but you need an umbrella this one is very small but it still does the job i use it when it's hot i use it when it's raining yeah you need an umbrella and then you need a raincoat because i know the rain is not true it can be true it can be true it can be true it, it can be it can't be like this no but rain can come from different directions so it's better if you have a raincoat i don't have it right now but i am planning on getting it i don't know if i'm gonna get it but i need to get it so a raincoat and then the 11th item cleaning supplies cleaning guys huh this is very important to me personally personally you need to have your own broom you need to have your own um what you call this what you call this uh that one one that one the one that takes the i have it but it's very far i would show you guys but you need to have your own cleaning supplies you need to have a brush like i have that toilet brush which i got from pip i use that brush for literally everything to clean the shower floor i guys are uh, say you need cleaning supplies because it's completely disgusting it's literally disgusting to live in a dirty place just because you don't have cleaning supplies and it's very 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 disgusting for me to use other people's cleaning things because they don't keep it clean you need your own doom domestos whatever you use for cockroaches and everything you need jig you need bleach you need handy andy you need sunlight liquid you need sunlight washing powder for everything you need those things like at least have sunlight liquid and chick i love the smell of chick so you need you need that and then item number 12 is loyalty cards i have a few of those loyalty cards loyalty cards now okay let me put it like this i have six loyalty cards from fashion express it is tfg i have clicks i have Shoprite, and it also works at checkers i have cotton on i've never used this because i don't shop at cotton on i have pick and pay i love this one and then i have Diskim. the ones that i use the most are these four as a student you live on a student budget so if you can get something that will save you money even if it's just 10 cents or two rand or 
yeah whatever amount you can save save it okay you need that 10 cents you need that two rands so if you can save money on something get loyalty cards completely free you don't pay for them they pay for you so if you can get something that pays for you child i'm all about it i'm all about it we need to save money we're living on a student budget okay period and then the 13th item is home comforts okay um things that remind you of home some people have like pictures of their family members some people have a collage like a whole wall of pictures a whole wall of names or whatever you feel whatever you think makes you feel closer to home then you should have it just have that one thing that reminds you of home and then the 14th item is for people who don't have wi-fi at their accommodations you need a pocket router I have this one uh, why is it dirty I have this one from Vodacom I got it from Vodacom it's called a Vodafone mobile Wi-Fi is it Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi <laughs> but yeah I have this one this is the box it was seven or eight hundred I can't remember and then you can put in your sim card that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video which will be a room tour that i will be posting next week tuesday i know you guys are excited for that and i know that you're ready if you're not you better be ready boo because what are you waiting for please like comment subscribe and share the video um thank you guys bye stay this is why a person needs a tripod. What are the people upstairs doing now? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Costas Mabazu. Ew! <laughs>